and uh, getting ready to run 26 miles from Vincent Gap to Three Points, round two of our partner series that we're doing. And um, looking like a beautiful day. It's about what, 5.15 or so, 5.20, about ready to go. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so we'll get after it. About uh, again, 26, 27 miles with about 7,000 feet of gain. That's about right. Yeah. Yeah. So that should be a good day. Yeah, and our, uh, our friends from Strava are over here. Uh, it was uh, fun to see them uh, first thing in the morning. Like Steven Seal, Ben Tate, and Shiloh Sanders. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, totally. Yeah, to put, uh, put names with Strava faces. So. And right. uh, today we're going uh, unsupported. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going to fill up from a natural spring along the way. But other than that, we're carrying everything we need on our backs. Yep. So, so we'll see how it goes. See you later, guys. Have fun. See you guys. So we're just getting past one mile, climbing up Baden Powell, and it's that beautiful sunrise. It's perfect. It's been a while since we've been up here. Since we don't have the Angeles Crest 100 this year. It's nice to get back out on these trails. A lot of good memories and training runs with friends and running a couple of races here. Yeah, what, a, what a gift on a Saturday morning. We talked earlier about going self-supported, so we're not actually unsupported on this one. So I'm carrying a two liter bladder, plus two 800 milliliter soft flask here in the front. Which should be plenty. We have a a spring called Little Jimmy that we can just top off somewhere probably around 11 miles. Chris is having to wait a little bit for me this morning. I feel a little bit winded starting out. But Chris is a nice guy. So he'll wait for his partner. So we're just at the, about 2.4 miles. It's already starting to warm up. The sun's getting up there. Got a beautiful view looking back towards Wrightwood. Chris is always running around, trying to kill me. So we're just coming up to our split. That's our view of the high desert. And out the view towards Mount Wilson. You can see the Baden Powell Summit right up there. We are gonna skip that for today. And just take the Pacific Crest Trail split. Get a beautiful look at Baldy right here. Not baldy, beautiful. So nice up here. Both feeling the altitude, a little lightheadedness and a little heavy breathing, but that's all part of the drill. Hey, you see baldy right over there. Wrightwood. You can kind of see the marine layer down down low in the valley. Let me get just up here. So you can kind of see the, the inland valley right out there. 
What a day. Chris is switching out his water bottles. So here's the PCT split. Baden Powell Junction. Baden Powell's another quarter mile up. Oh. Right there. We're at 2,500 feet of gain. 3.7 miles at the split. And the elevation was it right at 9,300. So that's. That's the skinny, so where we are. So our first runnable miles here. I'm gonna take it a little easy, a little technical, with some rocks and all, so just wanna kinda run easy for half mile or so just to Get the feel of the trail. So Chris was Chris is basically carrying a little less water than me, but he's carrying about 10 gels and three waffles. I started out with a similar amount of gels. I got five spring energy 250 calorie speed nuts and uh, four or five honey singer gels and I got one waffle and a protein gel so for all you that want to run the AC100, this is about five mile 16, something like that. Probably about seven, eight miles from my ice slip saddle. The next aid station, get a look at the valley over there. Yeah, so from Baden Powell, you can see right with it. You see Mount Wilson. It's just so far to <laughs> run when you're, you know, 85 miles from the finish. And you see all the mountains. Beautiful San Gabriel Mountains that you have to run over. To finish Alpadina. Every time I come out here, it seems so hard. Even though you finished twice, I finished twice. You can still see how hard it is. So we got about 20 miles to go. I think we're both feeling pretty good. After being a little lightheaded on the, you know, the Baden Powell climb. Start descending and start eating a little food. Then we get hot here the next hour or two. So hopefully it'll make some pretty good time between now and then. 
I got a feeling Cooper Canyon's gonna be pretty smoking today. I'll keep the camera rolling here. We're gonna cross over the top of the mountain here. As we start descending into ice slip. Yeah, look at that view. What a picture that is, Chris. Sitting behind you, man, looking at Mount Wilson. Dude, you're only like 80 miles from the finish of the AC 100. <laughs> This section of the trail is just really amazing. Look at this. I mean, come on. Whoo! Yeah! And then they're going this way. More views. So the technical sections here. Oh, here we go. Little Jimmy Springs series of split. In the race, you can go either way. If you need some water, come down here. If you don't, take the high line this is what I've done both years we're no more than two miles out from the aid station so getting our hydration all filled up for the rest of the run and I'm taking a seat nice little bench in here Got a couple yeah, guys hiking. Find one more, I think I'm gonna want it yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you take it time? Yeah, you know, we, we might drop a minute or something, but who cares? If someone beats us by like 45 seconds, it's all your fault, not my fault on the climb for being slow. <laughs> you too, man. We'll see you in a few. Man, it's nice and cold too. It's awesome. A little pipe, just a natural spring. It runs all year round, yeah? Yeah. It's incredible. I love it. About a mile from this little road to Ice Slip. Pretty back up in here. All the, all the growth. So here is I slip saddle. So we're just descending. Brings back a lot of good memories. I'm missing the cowbells, Chris. The cheering, the aid stations, the race atmosphere.
to the Angeles Crest Highway. Get right across it. We're actually AC 100. You head up the road, but we're actually going to be heading up. Piece of head that way. The old AC 100 course. Hopefully they'll be able to get back to that someday. So we're just climbing out of Islip Saddle. You can see the parking lot down there. And uh, you can see the trail that we just ran down. It pops out of those trees. It's a big climb. Good one though. About the 12 and a half mile mark. <clears throat> About 3,700 <clears throat> feet of climbing right now. Elevation right here is 7,300. something out of the shoe. Please catch him back up. Yeah, we've got an angry rattler right in our way. He's a big old fella too. I just walked right up, dude. Wow, was, look at that. Yeah. Boy, he is big. He was, uh, he was just going straight across. Huh. Well, yeah, he coiled up pretty quick. It's pretty dark for your video. You want to get in there real close? Yeah. You know, get a good shot of him? <laughs> I wish uh, I could zoom like that. But I, I can zoom in. Well, we can go high road or low road. Uh, looks like high road's a little bushy. Low road is, uh, the climb up is a little tough unless we double back. Yeah, maybe but low. Low looks awesome. Let's go high road. High road? I'd be less inclined to go uphill. So that was fun. So I almost stepped up on that rattler. He was probably about three, four feet from my foot in a shade and he was black. So I didn't really see him much until he started moving and curling up. He was not happy. Tried going up and over, but couldn't get a route. It's so steep right here. So it was right down by that tree. So we had Chris got a big log and got him to get out of our way. He was pretty pissed off. He didn't want to move much. But once we, uh, once Chris got the log, he kind of moved into the bushes and we were able to get around. So good fun. Pacific Crest Trail and snakes. Chris started calling me snake eyes because got a good eye for the little rascals sometimes. So far. <laughs> Just clicked over 13 miles. Should be getting to the top of this climb pretty quick. This is a big old mountain out of I slip saddle. Whew. So it looks like we finally got up on top. And uh, well, kind of, we're going down the PCT here. And the, the mountain still goes up a little bit, but I'm glad to see this. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty much looking right down into Pasadena would be that way. So yeah, Sierra Madre-ish. Chantry's right, probably at the touch of those clouds there. Yeah. Follow the Pacific Crest Trail signs. Some of the steep switchbacks coming up.
Yeah. Yeah, views like this at the corners. Wow. What trail? Wash out. <laughs> so we're just coming off the hill, crossing the highway two again. PCT markers. This is a couple miles from a couple miles from uh, Eagles Roost, yeah. If that. This is one of the prettiest sections, I think. The AC 100. Starting to get hot out. About 15 miles in right now. So we're about 11 to 12 miles to go. Just coming into Eagle's Roost, which normally there's an aid station out right here. But we're crossing over the Pacific Crest Trail. Off we go towards Cooper Canyon. This is Cooper Canyon, man, in all its glory. Look at this. Just beautiful down here. These old trees in here. Oh, yeah.
That's running good today. Beautiful. See how pretty that is. What a nice little creek when it's running, huh? Yeah, Dip the hat. This is a pretty sweet section up against the rocks. Big cliff down below us. Don't trip. <laughs> Another big tree down. <clears throat> Roundabout here. Tree crossing. Ugh. Ouch. That was fun. Oops. And these sections are so pretty up against this rock. Hear the water flowing down below us. Ooh. Not a lot of trail. Yeah. Nice flow of water down there. Pretty section right here. Not a lot of people have come through here, so the trail is pretty narrow. Couple spots. Hmm. This doesn't look so good. Oh wow. Rock crasher. Bugs in here? I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's just bugs. Gnarly. So Chris and I just took a little dip a -roo. You see our shirts are soaking. Felt so good. Dip the hat, soak the shirt. Got about eight miles to go. Looks like about eight miles to go there, partner. Yeah.
pretty sweet when you catch water crossings on unsupported runs. Makes a huge difference. Cool off for a few. A little bit of a waterfall right there. I'd like to be down at the bottom of that right now. Real pretty in here. So green and lush and the water's flowing excellent. What a treat. Cooper Canyon. I know a lot of people don't hit it much anymore, but it's well worth it. So we're just approaching mile 22. It's got about five miles to go. Just came all through Cooper Canyon. Now we're heading up to Cloudburst. About one more mile to Cloudburst and another four four miles down to the finish. Down at uh, three points. So. Seems like we're both feeling okay. A little warm, but dipping the shirt and the hat. That was solid. Just getting to the top. What's up, Chris? <laughs> Ooh, this cloudburst sign is wicked. And this cloudburst climb. 23 miles, about 6,200 feet of climbing so far. Almost a cloudburst and then downhill to the finish, hopefully. <laughs> Cloudburst Summit, 23.21. Chris rolled his ankle about a mile ago. So there's suffering. Pacific Crest Trail, rolled ankle. So how you feeling so far? Oh, pretty worked. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got about four miles, 23.21 on my watch. Ne never let me set pace targets again without <laughs> referencing our previous runs. <laughs> Every time we run the Pacific Crest Trail, it's like, ah, oh, we should be able to do it. So, what, five, six? It's like, eh, we're at like 6.05 right now with four miles to go. <laughs> yeah. Maybe seven if we get on it. We got downhill to the finish, though. So. Yeah. You look like hell. <laughs> yeah, it's just pain. I think. Uh... So, that's where we were at, man. Cooper Canyon. Then, all the way up this big old climb here. Yeah, dog. That's all you got left? Yeah, last four oh, miles. Oh man. Just gonna keep the whistle wet. Suffer fest. Let's get her going. Yep. So normally, there's an aid station right back there. So going through Eagle's Roost and Cloudburst without aid station sucks. Here we go. There's an auto accident right there. The sheriff's there. Car's off the side of the road up against a tree. Wow. Like, uh, next crossing. Be really careful here. This car's come fast. You can see the PCT marker. AC 100, you go that way. Some crush trail. This way. Let's 
been at the Camp of Glenwood. Shit, I about get ready to click over 26, so should be about a mile, three quarter at the most. Spent. Both of us are almost out of fluid. Tired. It's really hot right now, too. Sun's beating down. Good. Is it right here? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I thought there was a PCT marker, but this is it. It's highway 2 again. It's the PCT marker there. There's actually no mark right here, but this be it. So about 27.4 miles. Should be about a quarter mile or so from the finish. Parking lots right across the road there. I'm gonna finish this bad boy off. Okay, we're for this one. We uh, both are out of liquid. So. I just went bone dry. About a quarter mile ago. Chris has been going at least probably a couple miles with nothing, yeah? So we are looking forward to that car right over there. It's got some cold beverages in there for us. Snake. Oh, we got a snake? Or? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's a cutie. That's a, that's a little garden. Go, got a snake. Go on. Go on. Move it, little fella. Hey, you little dum dum. So our last crossing of Highway 2 today. A couple snakes. We're almost to, we're almost to three points. Hopefully we won't get any more snakes or cramps. Yes sir. Pacific Crest Trail runs. We tend to walk it in, don't we? <laughs> so far, we got the 37 miler. Walked it in. 55. Puke and walk it in. Well, we know we didn't leave anything out there. <laughs> Snake confrontations, lizard confrontations. Tell me what. Ready, set,
So round uh, two of the Pacific, our PCT Partners series is over. We did the marathon today, which ended up being you know 28 and a half miles, I think. <laughs> so, uh, but it was it was rough. We both finished without water, and, and uh, the trails are tough, man. There's a lot of tree hopping, and PCT is always a lot slower than you think you can run it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went out in good spirits today. We were both feeling healthy. Yeah, this trail's hard. It's hard for us. Um, I think, uh, once again, uh, I thought that we would finish faster than we did. And it's just so humbling uh, to, to try and uh, just be uh, proud to help by this trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got it done. Next, uh, the next one is a 50K, or no, it's a 100K, huh? 100K. August, yeah, in August. And then we got a 50K late August and then uh, 100 mile in October, so. Got a lot, a lot to look forward to. We'll be starting that 100k from right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, to be continued. <laughs> yeah. See ya.